uh, in the last example on fall trees, we are going to um, look at uh, a problem involving a fire fighting system and end uh, with computing reliability of that system. So um, here is uh, the system description. Uh, it consists of uh, two smoke sensors, a pump and sprinkler subsystem, uh, a power supply system that involves mains uh, and a backup, uh, and uh, sensors themselves need batteries. Uh, so the sensor system does not depend on the, the mains or the backup power. Uh, so the first task is to draw the fault tree of the system and then we will put numbers uh, and uh, compute the reliability uh, which will be a very simple uh, computation. So our top event is uh, the fire prevention system fails uh, and then that can happen in any one of three ways uh, which uh, are in series so either the sensor system fails or the power system fails or the sprinkler uh, water and pump system fails. Uh, the last one uh, mentioned uh, it's an undeveloped event uh, and uh, the sensor subsystem um, requires both of them to fail so that's our understanding of this system. Uh, uh, both sensors have to fail in order for detection to fail so uh, they go through an AND gate. Uh, the mains and the backup both have to fail in order for the power system to fail and uh, the sensor failure, the, uh, the diesel generator failure, they're all basic events so no further development is required and uh, the mains failure uh, is an undeveloped event so we don't need to know, we don't think we uh, need to know any further detail there. Uh, so uh, let's let's um, put some numbers. Uh, the point availability of the mains uh, is eighty percent. We haven't discussed availability really, but it basically means that at any given time uh, the system has an eighty percent chance of being up, uh, and then twenty percent chance of not being up. The generator itself is 100% reliable, but there is a slight uh, switch failure issue, and that is 10% uh, probability. Uh, uh, the sensor subsystem needs to be on all the time, and each sensor has a reliability of 90%. Uh, we are not talking about the batteries separately at this time. So, uh, and finally, the sprinkler subsystem is fully reliable but again just like uh, the diesel generator uh, it has a switching failure probability of 5%. So what do we mean by switching failure? That when it is asked to come online uh, if the switch doesn't work properly then it is not able to perform that function so the system uh, effectively fails. Um, so what is the system reliability? Uh, it's a straightforward problem. We have solved many problems like this uh, already in this course, so let's do it step by step. Uh, if you would like to go through this, uh, please pause this video, otherwise uh, let me present the steps. Uh, the, the power system reliability is 98%. Uh, the first term in the brackets comes from the main power availability. The second bracketed term comes from the uh, diesel generators actually it's switching failure probability is the only uh, contribution there. Uh, the next one is the sensor system and there are two sensors and they work independently uh, that's the assumption and so together the sensor system has 99% uh, reliability. Uh, the sprinkler system is 95% reliable uh, the 5% failure probability comes from the switching issue. And then finally, putting all of this together uh, would give me, and again, assuming that all 
the components are mutually independent, uh, the system reliability would come to 92%. Uh, now here is an interesting thought uh, I want to leave you with is uh, what if uh, the maintenance manager forgets to replace batteries in the sensor. So presumably uh, batteries are replaced together. So if one fails, the other one is almost certain to fail. Uh, batteries have run out of their, their power. Uh, so how are we going to augment uh, the fault tree and how are we going to incorporate that information uh, if we know the reliability of that uh, in the system reliability numerical computation. That would be a thought I would like to leave you with.